Hey, Louise Anderson. Um, we are at the Loop It Pole Instagram Live interviews. Um, today I'm going to be interviewing Shamika Stanley, um, known as Utter Beauty. <clears throat> and she is a featured speaker at the upcoming Beginner Pole Dancer Summit. Um, and that is happening uh, on September 20th. So I'm going to go ahead and bring her on right now so we can chat about all the fun things that she's going to have going on. Um, that is called Use Yo Meat. And I want her to tell us all about it. So if you have any questions for Shamika, hello, Shamika, how are you? Happy Monday. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Yes. So thanks for coming on with us today. I chat about um, what you are sharing at the upcoming summit and how you got your poll, your start in poll. So let's start there. How'd you get your start in poll? My start in poll, shout out to my big sis. Uh, she actually told me that she had a poll party for her birthday. And I was like, a what? They have those? And she was like, yeah, it was fun. So I was like, okay. So the next year rolled around and it was my turn for my birthday. So I had a poll party for my birthday and fell in love with it. <laughs> That's it. What was it? Was it like that first spin move or that first, you know, I can, yeah. I can like distinctly remember like the first moves I fell in love with, you know? Yeah. I I think it was more so like the feeling that I felt like I felt sexy. I felt empowered. Like it wasn't, so it wasn't like a turn up pole party, which I think a lot of us, you know, experience. It was like slow and sensual. And like we were doing like uh, bridges, you know, and those sexy hip bridges and all that stuff. So my, my ass cheeks were on fire. Um, but it wasn't anything that I, I guess, expected. It was the total opposite. And I fell in love with the movement and how it made me feel. And of course I learned my first little spin. So, you know, I was like, oh, look at me, I'm cute. I think <laughs> I still got that video somewhere on my page, but it was the movement for me. So fast forward till now, what are you doing with pole now? Because I mean, you took, that first class is a part of you know your your birthday party mm -hmm. and how where are you with pole pole is my baby i love pole <laughs> um i i love the ability to meet beautiful people um across the world um i've been able to work with people internationally people locally um so it's been such an awesome experience to be welcomed in the community um, so love teaching um, and watching those aha moments and watching people go through their journey and helping people in their journey um, in ways that I didn't get help. So being able to help fast track people has definitely been something that I take pride in and that I'm going to push all of my students. Uh, thank you. Uh, these are from our friends, uh, Sheen. You better order before, you know, they get dismantled for Rico charges. But, um, yeah, $6, friends, $6 off the Sheen. They are commenting, those sunglasses slay. Thank you, boo. Mm. Yeah, so tell me about what your you know, what you like to focus on in your teaching and what gives you what you're most passionate about sharing? Yeah, um, biggest thing all of my students will tell you is body engagement, number one. So um, my beginners, first thing they learn is how to engage their body so they're aware of their muscles, um, and so I preach that throughout any level that you're on. Um, so yeah, they, they have a love hate relationship when it comes to me and uh, teaching, but that's number one. And then also we train both sides in my class. So, you know, that's non-negotiable unless there's, you know, reason behind it, but usually it's like, mm -mm, okay. Y'all thought I forgot. 
other side. Yay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's really fun to see like that come to life because sometimes there is maybe an injury or a limitation that a student has, but because they've been working on their opposite side, they don't feel like they have to miss out on class necessarily. Cause it's like, oh no, I've been working on my opposite side so I can get into it. So, you know, there's a method to my madness, you know? <laughs> yeah. So body engagement, number one, hands down. Got it. And with your personal evolution through pole, I love to talk about pole dancers. And you know, something I've noticed is just that that journey of, oh, I started out really interested in this side of pole, and then I kind of got really into that side of pole, and then I came back to this. Where, how, how would you describe your evolution when it comes to style and yeah. preference? Personal yeah. Preference. So starting out, I really focused on the dance aspect. Um, the studio I went to, we focused on a lot of body awareness and freestyle movement. So now freestyle movement comes very, very natural to me because that's how I was introduced to pole. Um, so I know that could be opposite for others. Um, now, like people, like when I first started, people put me in the box of just a sensual or exotic pole dancer. Um, but I am not just sensual. Um, I feel like I'm more dramatic, uh, that kind of contemporary feel. So that's how I would categorize, um, categorize myself. So that's kind of the style that I've been giving and I'll sprinkle a little extra sexy, you know, every now and again. Um, but now I'm kind of more focused on strength. And so doing more things on the pole, building combos on the pole, spin pole. Um, and so getting comfortable with being on the pole for a lot longer. Yes. And what kind of advice would you give to beginners starting out that feel like, you know, they're not excelling as fast as they, they want to be? Sure. Um, give yourself grace. Um, everybody's journey is different. You hear that all the time, but it's so true, but you only get out what you put in as well. So if you want to be stronger and, you know, more flexible, then you got to do the things that's going to make you stronger, more flexible. You can't just always go to a dance class. You can't always go to a choreo class. You got to go to pole conditioning classes too. Uh-huh. You got to do the things that don't feel good. So, um, off the pole training is just as important as training on the pole. So we might have to go do some body weight workouts and go lift weights and go yes. grunt in the gym sometimes. We might have to. <laughs> yes. That yeah. of, um, I know that you are a featured speaker in the upcoming upcoming beginner pole dancer summit and your freebie. Um, so once you get your free ticket to the summit, um, there is a freebie there. Tell us about your freebie that you're offering to people once they pick it. Yeah, so my freebie is like about a 15 minute um, conditioning workout that you can do on the pole. Um, you can do a couple times, three times a week. Um, and that's just for that person that might not have a lot of time to practice pole, but you can get in that really quick workout, you know, that's going to make you sweat just a little bit, but you're still targeting all of those major muscle groups. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, so you guys can go ahead and grab that right now. There is a link in bio for that, that free ticket. So go ahead and grab that so you can do some working out with Shamika. Gets that full conditioning that she's talking about. Mm, yes. So you can have guns like, <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about, I, I know that you were also um, featured in the recent PolCon mm -hmm. um, uh, performances. Tell us about that experience. Oh, Polcon. I love Polcon. I get to see all my friends and new friends. Um, I absolutely love Polcon. Um, I had the opportunity to perform twice. Um, I performed solo in the Black Girls Poll Showcase. Shout out to Delijah. We love you over here. What? And then uh, <laughs> I also was able to perform in the Dangerous Curves uh, Showcase. So shout out to Roz the Diva always showing up for us thickies and i got to perform with curvy diva um based out of maryland uh she is an instructor at my body shop and i think fit for polars i hope i'm not misspeaking on that so she is actually 
like one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to curvy polars. So to be able to perform with her in the dangerous curve showcase with Ross, the deep, like it was, it was like pivotal for me. So um, that was awesome. And I was able to teach my specialty workshop, use yo meat intro to inversions, which is what I talk about in my uh, presentation for our, um, for our summit. Um, I was able to perform with Curvy Diva. So Diva spelled D-V-A, Curvy Diva. That's who I got to perform with. She's awesome, KK. So um, so yeah, that's great. So I'm excited for 2024 Polcon. Uh, shout out to, to the HBIC, Colleen Jolly. We love her. We <laughs> love her. Colleen, if you see this, I love you. So yes. And Colleen is also featured in the upcoming summit as well. So yes. yeah, if you want to get nerdy with with me and Shamika and Colleen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my sis just joined. Hi, sis. You are the reason why I started Paul. I don't even know she realizes that though. <laughs> she is on here with us, and she is the reason why you are pole dancing today. That is so she cool. Is, Thank she's you. the reason. She shared it with me, and. I have been hooked ever since the pole got me. I love it. When did, when was that? When did you first start pulling? Oh my God. I, eight years ago. This year makes eight years. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy when you say it? Cause you think, oh, I've just been having a good time this whole time. You look back. Wow. That's how yeah. I'm doing it. I blinked. <laughs> yeah. And it was eight years later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My body is feeling it too. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but we still we still in there. We in there. So um, I'm I'm excited for the next eight years, you know, to see the evolution of pole. Um, it's been awesome to see like how much more knowledge is available now than when I first started out. So um, I think being a part of this summit is like near and dear to me because I didn't get a lot of this when I first started. So there was a lot of questions and especially being on the curvier side, I felt like I was being left behind, but we don't have to be left behind. You know, it's all about understanding <laughs> body engagement. I'm telling you, that's number one in pole. Without, you don't learn nothing else. That's right. That's like, that's body where, engagement. if you get that, that, if you really start to learn about that and how you can actually tangibly feel it in your body, mm -hmm. then you get to use that tool to apply to all things. All things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm excited for this. So go ahead and get your free tickets to the summit. Link in my bio, please. You get all the access to all the speakers and all that good stuff. So we want to be able to watch y'all go into your journey and be great. Yes, I do think it's like, you know, for everyone involved, for all the speakers involved, I think I hear it over and over again um from them and you know how i feel myself which is as you were saying all the things and the knowledge that we wish we knew when we first started out you yeah. know yeah it's like if you can give that stream to people who are at the beginning of their journey wow the sky's the limit you know yeah <laughs> absolutely i'm like man if i would have known this i would have been you know doing stuff like ashley fox by now but um <laughs> probably not because she she's a beast if you don't know who she is <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, tell me about your, your name, Utter Beauty. You know, I was trying to just be cute. Okay. <laughs> when I started my Instagram. Okay. <laughs> no idea that Utter Beauty was actually going to be my stage name. So I started my, oh, damn, has it been almost 10 years that Instagram has been around? I think, I don't know. All I know is. Seems about right. At first, I wanted to have my sign in there because, you know, I'm a Virgo. So I was like, ooh, what if I do like Virgo beauty or something? Like I knew I wanted the word beauty in it, right? So whatever I was trying to do, like the username was already taken. So then I was like, well, what's another word for like complete? I was like, ooh, utter. So then, then utter beauty. And then I think one day someone asked me what my stage name is, but they gave it to me. It was like, oh, it's just utter beauty. That's your Instagram name, right? And I was like, yeah, y yeah, <laughs> that is my stage name. And yeah, so that's, that's the birth of utter beauty. I love, <laughs> you know, 
when you made your Instagram name, you didn't know you were going to become this prolific pole performer and, oh, these okay. and all that. And so, hey, <laughs> I you know. when we get into pole, we have no idea what we're, what's about to happen in our lives. It's just about to take over everything. Yeah, <laughs> it does. It literally does. Everything is pole related. Um, <laughs> people are like, oh, do you want me to buy you anything? Buy me some grip. <laughs> Buy me knee pads, buy me shoes, pole shoes, eight inches, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, life is pole. So it's like, I don't even need real clothes. I just need pole clothes. Yeah. That's it. That's, true. That's so true. You know, <laughs> have, like, if I have to do real life things, I have like two outfits. Right. <laughs> I have no idea what to wear. Like, I'd be like, oh, decisions. So I can't have my cheeks <laughs> out. Got it. So. <laughs> It's very hard to come to work every day. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yes, yes. Tell me about work, pole, life, balance. If, 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 I got to get up early because ain't no way. Um, so <laughs> let me see. Let me, let me, because <laughs> I feel like my life is kind of consumed by pole. So I'm polling at least three to four times a week minimum. Like I'm teaching at least twice a week right now, but that's going to increase. Um, but yeah, I got to get up early in the morning to work out and do my own like gym workout type thing, because if I don't, it's not going to happen by the end of the day. Um, but I do work a big girl job. Ugh. Um, that's ghetto. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm teaching at two studios. So right now I teach at uh, twisted fit in spring and I will be teaching at revolve, um, pole studio, um, in Houston. So super excited about that so i have more time to jump on the pole but finding my own time to practice is hard yeah as an instructor um body be hurting mentally i'm tapped and then sometimes you just can't find the time so i try to find it as much as possible yeah i feel like it's really good for people to hear that because i have so many people you know um it's hard. It's hard to find the time. You know, you got real life things going on. You got jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, um, families, and you know, it, it's it's hard to fit in that habit sometimes. And to, especially when you're also teaching, mm -hmm. then that extra time for yourself. I definitely struggle with that for sure. Like finding the time outside of teaching to do the training that really brings me a lot of joy. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, just know, one thing I've started to do is incorporate, like, the things that I'm working on personally, I'll just incorporate it into my 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 classes. And so, you know, my students sometimes, you know, their mouths drop to the floor when I show them what we're doing. And it was like, you expect us to do that? And I'm like, yeah, um, yeah, today we're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're working. But, <laughs> like, yeah, if I got to work on it, you got to work on it, too. So. <laughs> So, I mean, that's the way that, you know, I've been able to incorporate like my own little practice. And I love the transparency that I am able to have with my students because yes, I'm an instructor, but I don't know everything. I, I don't have all the skills, but I can at least get someone strong. I know how to get someone strong. I'll get you strong. So I do have some students that surpass me in strength and flexibility abilities but I can still get them into the move or trick or whatever it is that they desire because I understand the foundations of the move, understanding body awareness, body engagement, body placement, and all those things. So, you know, um, so I'll work on things with my, my, with my students. So they'll see me fail in person and it's like, okay, this is where I messed up. So let's go ahead and try this again. And I love that I can have that transparency and have that trust that they're, they're going to get up and do it with me. And we, you know, we might bump heads and, you know, I'll catch a few of them here and there and we go home. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, you go home and you, you, you get to have all that wonderful dopamine that you, you, you were there, you were laughing with your friends. You weren't taking yourself too seriously and you were getting yeah. strong. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And yes. I do work with uh, the non-polers, so my trainer <laughs> is in here, made him get on the, the pole and uh, put him through a little torture since he tortures me Amazing. every day of my life, so <laughs> that's 
if you go on my page, you'll see Irvin um, on the polls. So he is not a polar, but I'm going to make him one. I love it. <laughs> That's what polars tend to do. We try to bring everyone to the dark side. Yes. Come, come, come. <laughs> I love it. Okay, before we go, give us a tiny little sneak peek of what Use Your Meat presentation at the summit is going to be all about. So, Use Your Meat. Basically, I am going to go over the important parts of body engagement and how to engage your body, how to fill it. Um, so that's going to really be the basis of it. It's going to be understanding body engagement and body placement so that you can successfully invert. Um, and then at the end of that, I also offer that free workout we talked about that's going to help you build up those muscles um, so that you can obtain your invert a little sooner rather than later. That's all awesome. you get. That's all you get. You got to come to the summit. <laughs> That's right. That's all you get. If you get more curious, you got to get your free ticket. I love that. I mean, the elusive, you know, invert is, you know, what everyone is after. And something that I wanted to point out that, you know, in the success pack, in the pole performer success pack, you have an awesome tutorial. I'm not going to say much about it, except for, you know, inverts can happen many ways. Many ways any many ways you can get upside down many ways and um shamika you have an awesome resource in that pole perform success back upgrade talking about that so yes thank you so much for chatting with us today can't thank wait for the summit on september 20th and y'all go get that ticket in shamika's link in bio and thank you again shamika thank you Sergia, I appreciate it. I'm excited. And yes, follow me, y'all. So please follow me. I'll follow y'all back. Okay, everybody. Yes. Make sure you follow Shamika Utter Beauty Stanley. And we will see you at the summit. Bye.